When you have a large pool of applicants for a job or for professional training, how do you make decisions about how to choose the right person? In some settings, there are hundreds or even thousands of applicants that are applying, and it's really difficult to make the right decisions and get the right people into a job. In our project, we are trying to select people for teacher training and for teaching jobs, and we are using an innovative methodology called uh, situational judgment test to do this. Uh, when you're selecting somebody for teaching or for teacher training, you probably want to look at their cognitive attributes. You want to look at their intelligence, their subject area knowledge, what they know about education in general. But you also really want to look at their non-cognitive attributes, their psychological characteristics. So you want to measure things like motivation, personality, interpersonal skills. But these things are really difficult to measure in a high-stakes setting. In a low-stakes research setting, it's pretty easy to measure these psychological characteristics. A lot of my research has been looking at motivation, self-efficacy of teachers and students in educational settings. But in a high-stakes setting, for a job or for a teacher training place, it's really difficult to look at and, and measure these psychological characteristics because people sometimes aren't very accurate in the responses they give when they really want to get a job. Our research, which is funded by the European Research Council for the next five years, is developing new ways to select people for teacher training. We're using something called situational judgment tests, which is a, a method to, to get at these psychological characteristics and to look at their implicit traits of applicants. Uh, right now, we're using paper and pencil and computer-based selection tools, but over the next few years, our next challenge is to use higher fidelity methods. We hope to use video-based uh, situational judgment tests and also virtual reality, where we actually put the applicant into a real classroom virtually uh, to measure their psychological attributes and how they actually react to these uh, situations. Uh, our research is currently conducted in the UK, but also in Australia, uh, in Europe, and in the Middle East. And over the next few years, we are really looking forward to uh, developing this tool to make sure that we have a reliable and valid and fair way of assessing these psychological attributes. Thank you.